are going to play the hockey, the greatest sport in all of Russia. That is the worst Russian accent I could have ever pulled off. Do they even celebrate Christmas in Russia? They probably do. Either way, welcome back to the 25 games of Christmas where we play some ice hockey. Unlike with Tech Mobile, we don't have any teams to pick, and we're just going to go through the six teams that we have available here from the Olympics. America! That's me. And, uh, should we play the Russians? I think we should play the Russians. The Union of Russian so Socialists, or Soviets, I don't know. Well, this is a game I certainly have not played. So, I'm probably gonna get my asses kicked by the Russians here, but the important thing is if I have fun. Oh! Ho ho ho! I play defense. That's basically how I play all my hockey games whenever I'm playing them, and so. Oh. Well, so much for playing defense, I, I guess. We cannot possibly beat the Russians. The Russians. The hockey is in their blood. Yeah, never, never, never let me play any Russian games ever, because I apparently make terrible Russian accents. Uh, oh well. Well, like I said in uh, the Tecmo Bowl episode, where football is really big on my mom's side of the family, hockey is what's really big on my dad's side of the family. So, yeah, like, all the NHL games, you have to be good at, because they're, like, the only games we're allowed to play on the holidays. Oh! <laughs> Look at that shot! I am awesome. However, unlike with football, where on my mom's side of the family, we're all just a random assortment of fans, uh, in flipping hockey, we are... Oh. Wow. So much for that! Oh, well. In hockey, we are all Ranger fans. In fact, it's so, it's so bad that my, my dad, who married my mom, whose family is more Islander fans than anything, said if any of his children were going to ma be made Islander fans, he would flip it, divorce my mother immediately. Because the... The summer I was born, uh, the, the summer before I was born, I was born in the fall, uh, the summer before I was born, uh, was the year the Rangers won the Stanley Cup. So, I have not seen a Rangers Cup Final. I've seen the Packers win a Super Bowl, I've seen the Rangers be in the Cup Finals, but they got crushed by the Kings, and I've seen the Mets in the World Series twice, but they haven't won. So, only my Packers have won for me. They're probably going to be the most likely team to win the next championship of my three teams, since I don't have... I don't really have a team for basketball. Oh my lord, this is bad. This is bad. Oh my lord, where's my defense? These freaking Russians! The two things in the world that Russia is good at, revolutions and hockey. They have a lot of them. They're, they're like, they're like up there with France in terms of how many revolutions they have. Oh, first period's over. I was about to be like, what the hell just happened? Oh, now we just switch sides, because we still would do it like that. But no, hockey is huge on my dad's side of the family. It's like... It's like the biggest thing in the world. I'm surprised they didn't get called offsides for that. Maybe they don't have offsides in this. Oh no! 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 Where's my defense? Come on! But, I will say this, you have to at least know how to play the hockey games, you don't have to be good. My cousin is the best of the game, of the hockey games that I've ever seen. He's like friggin' invincible. The only hockey game I'm good at is flipping uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. And that's just because you can just beat the shit out of each other endlessly. Also, you have to build a very balanced team in that game. And oh, come on! No, you have to be, like, really good. 
really good balance on that team. Like, if you have a team that's too fast, they won't be good at taking shots. If you have a team that's too strong, they won't be fast enough to make good shots. And if all you have is a team that makes good shots, they won't be able to defend themselves. I am going to disgrace America by losing to Russia, aren't I? Actually, I think the only time we've ever beaten Russia was in the 1980 Olympics. So... Oh, no, I had it! Oh, no, 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 no. Alright. We're keeping it close, so that's a good thing. Oh, god damn. Come on. Oh, my god. If that guy had, ta had friggin' ch charged me into the net with the frickin' puck, it would have been amazing. But I very much doubt I'll, have, I'll ever get that lucky. No! Nice try, Star Fox! No, we're not playing Star Fox. Star Fox is coming up, though. If I choose to play it. Oh, and I give up a goal. Alright, I think it's safe to say that this game's over. But there, the Russians are gonna drag this out over another period, so... Yay. Let the Russians drag this out as long as they want. I do not care. For I am American. We don't care about anything. Except stuff we're not supposed to care about. Uh, okay. So we, we're keeping it close, I will say that. But usually two goal uh, differences are much... Are they easier to overcome in actual hockey games, but in... From my history of playing hockey games, once it's like 3-1 to one or 4-2 to two or 5-3, to three, it's just like, snowball's chance in hell I'm going to score. But I will not give up. Who cares about this 1980s hockey game? Alright, we got the puck, we got the puck, we got the puck, we got the puck. SHOT! OH! Oh, how is that a save? That's dumb. Oh, at least we know how to play defense now, guys. Thank you. Alright. Oh, stop shooting it at the side of the goalpost! Come on! Oh, boy. Oh, this isn't gonna end. Oh, thank you! And there you go. I don't even know how that happens. It seemed like it hit an invisible wall there, but... Well, the Russians are gonna pulverize us at something. I may as well let it be hockey. You cannot defeat the Russians. Not at hockey, at least. Maybe Canada can, but I'm not can. Well, I'm kinda sorta Canadian. Keyword is kinda sorta because my family has lives on the on a reservation just outside of Montreal. In fact, I've swam in the St. Lawrence River as a kid, so... Oh! Yeah. Yeah, that was probably my best shot at making this game a close one. It's going to be the Russian bloodbath! And I actually love... I loved when I learned in school about flipping Russia, because they're one of the most fascinating countries to learn about in history. I, like, when we did reports in 10th grade about, we had to do a report about a revolution in history class, and everyone was picking the easy ones. They were picking the American Revolution, the French Revolution, this, this. I did the Russian Revolution. That's, like, one of the most fascinating topics to learn about, like... Because it goes so back, so deep into the country's mythos, like, you could say, oh, it might have, it might have happened under the, the last Tsar during the First World War, and wow. Five to one! Yay! But still, it's like such a fascinating country to learn about. But like, you could see the roots of the Russian Revolution in like, from like the time of like, the last Tsar's grandfather, and it's like flipping awesome. Alright, can I at least make it five to two? Five to two would be nice. Please? No. The Russians know how to play defense, and the Americans don't. 
And we lost! You, 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 you! I'm celebrating an American defeat. I'm guessing Trump's crew, Trump's goon squad will be at my back door anytime soon. So before that happens, I will see you guys next time. Sayonara!